Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This reading is a quick peek into the collective energy to see what's coming up for you and your person of interest, or perhaps some messages just for you personally as well. As always, this is a general reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what messages the universe wants to share with the collective today, please. 2002, 2002. This is about the void. This says longing, technology, ambition, genius, forward thinking, stress, and depression. And this stress and depression could apply to you. It could apply to your person. Perhaps both of you are feeling stressed and depressed at the moment. But I do feel that you are both definitely longing for each other because that's the first word that comes out on this card. But let's see. Let's grab some more cards for some clarification here and see what else we need to know. We're asking for clarification on this card, please. What do we need to hear? What do we need to know? Avoidance, in hiding, feeling guilty, and no communication. And I feel that this is your person definitely in this avoidance place. And they are not communicating with you. Perhaps they're running from you. They're ghosting you. They're ignoring you. They're not responding. And that truly is a very hurtful and cruel thing to do to someone. This is about your person, though, thinking that they can escape their feelings, but they can't. This is why they are stressed and depressed and longing for you. And they do feel guilty as well for how they've treated you. They know that they shouldn't have treated you the way they have. They should have treated you with respect. They should have treated you with the love that you were showing them. And it is something that is weighing heavy on them and why they are feeling this stress and depression at the moment. But their longing for you is eventually going to cause them to come out of hiding and come back in your direction. Well, this is rock bottom. This is about karma. Now, this says jail and legal issues, and perhaps there are a few of you out there whose person may be having some legal issues at the moment. Their life falling apart. That is definitely what the void feels like. My life is just falling apart. But I really feel that this is more about karma at the moment, and karma is a great teacher. If your person has done a lot of damage to you and this connection by hurtful words and bad behaviors that were low vibration words, actions, and behaviors, they can definitely be picking up some karma about that. Their life could be falling apart. And when karma comes, it comes in a lot of different ways. It affects all of us differently and it comes at all of us differently. But there is a universal law of cause and effect. That is the law of karma. If you really hurt somebody and you really do what you can to make sure that you have hurt that person. And for some of you, I do feel that that is how your person has dealt with this connection because they did not have the emotional maturity to handle this relationship with you because you blew their mind when you met them. When they first met you, they felt this instant attraction and they saw the power of everything that is within you. And they were like, oh my God, I cannot believe how lucky I am. But then they felt insecure. Their fears cropped up. They had old emotional wounds that started bubbling up to the surface and they had to deal with all of those things and they didn't want to deal with them so they just ran. Hurtful words, low vibration behaviors, perhaps even toxic and dysfunctional behaviors and habits that they brought into this relationship, the universe is going to pay them back for all of that because you are a gift from the universe, from God to your person. You are a blessing in their life and they know this. This is why they're longing for you. But their life could be falling apart at the moment because they are having to deal with the karmic repercussions of their words, actions, and behaviors that were so very hurtful to you. And the only way that they are going to be able to pull themselves up and out of that is to apologize. But at the moment, what I'm hearing is they can't forgive themselves. They're having a difficult time looking at themselves in the mirror. They are taking ownership of the things that they've done in this connection, and they see that they really blew it. They really failed you. They really let you down. There's karmic 
repercussions for the things that they've done here and their life could very well be falling apart at the moment egg on their face well this is about them feeling ashamed and i do feel that they are embarrassed it's not a just it's not just about being ashamed it's embarrassed and they know that they humiliated themselves and they are having a hard time with all of this this isn't something that is easy for them and you know this is what they've got to go through though guys i feel that this is something they have to experience because this is the only thing that's going to pull them up and out of this place where they are in this rock bottom place when we are in that rock bottom place there's only one way to go and that is up and i do feel this is about having a dark night of the soul experience as well your person could be going through that and you guys know what that's like when you go through a dark night of the soul you have got to pull yourself up and out of that darkness and back to the light and this is what your person is having to do this is what they are working through this is part of this forward thinking that's written on this card they know that they have more control over all of this they know that it's time for them to take control of this situation and start making their way back to you so the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship with one another hurting well yes this is about being depressed crying sorrow sadness feeling overwhelmed, feeling empty, really in this place of feeling the void of nothingness that they have brought upon themselves. And this is what they've got to feel. It's what they've got to go through. This pain that they are experiencing, this depression, this longing, this stress is something that is giving them what they need. It is the teacher. This is where the lessons come in. And this is where they start pulling themselves up and out of this negative space and back into the light of this connection and into the light of your love because this is where they belong. And, you know, you can, I was going to say, don't feel sorry for them, but you can, in a way, send them love send them light, send them healing energy. This is something though they have to go through by themselves. You had to go through your dark night experience by yourself, didn't you? They weren't there to help you go through it. They left you to it, right? You had to go through it by yourself. They need to go through this by themselves as well because they have to be able to pull themselves up and out of this space and back into the power and the light of this connection and back into the power of who they are. At the moment, they don't feel very powerful. They don't feel they have courage, but this is a tremendous learning experience for your person. Going through a dark night like this is something that allows us to isolate those things that we need to fix, that we need to work on because we have to face those things head on in order to get back to what we want and to this life that is happy and fulfilling. You have to traverse that dark night of the soul experience and come back into the light. That is what this is all about, I feel, for many of you watching this reading today, for your person, and perhaps for some of you as well, you are currently in this dark night experience. And for all of you out there watching this reading that are going through this dark night right now, I hold all of you in the light and send you love and send you positive energy that you can work through what you are going through. But most of the time, when our person does these things to us, when they ghost us, when they run from us, when they deny the connection, when they bring these low vibration behaviors and actions and words into a connection, we go through that dark night experience. It is our natural reaction to it, especially when they run, when they ghost, when they deny the connection, when they won't respond, when they ignore us, when we don't know what the heck's going on and we thought we were supposed to be spending time together and then it's three weeks later and you still haven't heard from them. That hurts. It is hard. And yes, that can trigger a dark night of the soul. And this is what your person is currently feeling and experiencing at the moment for many of you watching this reading. Let's see what other messages the collective needs to hear, please. What do we need to know? What messages does the universe want to share? Well, this is the Ace of Cups. There is light at the end of this tunnel, and it is this Ace of Cups, which is all about 
starting over with your person. Would you take this person back, you guys watching the reading, if they go through this dark night experience and it gives them the growth and the spiritual awakening that they need? You would take them back more than likely, right? Because this is about wanting to start over. This is about your person being able to be expressive of the love that they feel for you because this Ace of Cups is all about love. Starting over, but being able to invest their heart and their soul into this relationship with you, which will give it the staying power and stability that it needs. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages do we need? Well, this is the hangman. This is actually excellent that we got the hanging man today, guys. Because this is all about your person having a breakthrough. This is the breakthrough that they need as they come through this dark night of the soul experience. This is about them having a shift in perspective. This is about them being able to see things clearly and that makes sense that this is happening for your person as they come through this dark night and back into the light. The hangman also tells us your person wants to hold on to you and they don't want to let you go. They don't want to move forward from this connection. They actually want to start over. But with this relationship for the two of you being in a more elevated space than it was in the past because your person has had a major wake up call. That is what that hanging man is all about. The hangman is ruled by Pisces. Let's see what else we need to know. What other messages does the universe want to share with the collective today, please? What do we need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? This is the Five of Cups. Well, the Five of Cups is actually one of the saddest cards in the deck. Um, probably the saddest. It is about grief, sadness, sorrow, longing, missing you, but your person definitely aware that it's all their fault. They are being responsible and accountable for the things that they brought upon you and this relationship, but also upon themselves. This is about your person dealing with their own broken heart, that they broke themselves by creating all of the problems in this relationship with you. But if we look very closely at this figure, that there are three broken glasses here, but these two that are in our hands are still there. Your person is holding on to this connection and to this love that is here between you at the moment to help them work through this dark night that they are going through. Holding on to the hope that they're going to be able to have this new beginning with you is what's keeping them going. It's what's giving them the courage to push, push through. It's what's giving them what they need to help them through and understand that all of it is just an illusion. Even a dark night of the soul is truly an illusion because the tunnel is an illusion, right? The dark night of the soul is an illusion, but we have to work through it because it's what brings us back up into the light to be able to embrace that power within ourselves. Your person is working through all of this right now, but remember, they want to start fresh and they want to start over and they want to have this connection with you. They desire this relationship with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages do we need to hear? Well, this is the three of pentacles, the three of coins, and this is all about the card of the builder. Your person wanting to build this relationship with you, rebuild it, build it back stronger, build it with a greater, more stable foundation than where it was in the past. But this three of pentacles also tells us, this three of coins also tells us, your person sees that the two of you make a great team. And they see that you work well together in terms of a partner. They see you as the ideal partner for them. This is about them wanting to rebuild this relationship from where it is is now which is in this disconnect to this new beginning that comes with this ace of cups being more emotionally invested in this relationship with you being able to be there for you being able to love you and show you how much they love you and back that up with their words so you are never reading between the lines or trying to figure it out ever again because you will know directly from this person 
your person is having a major learning experience right now. You guys watching the reading, I feel that that, what, that is what this 2002, the void card, is all about. And they are trying to work through all of this as best they can. They know that they brought so much damage into this connection and they are definitely feeling the guilt, the remorse, and the regret that comes with that Five of Cups at the moment. Ashamed for how they treated you. Embarrassed for the words that they said to you that just came up out of nowhere because of their fears and their insecurities and their unhealed wounds. All of this is causing your person to have hit that rock bottom space because when we hit that space, when we get to that void, the only place that we can go is up and your person is pulling themselves up and out of this dark night and out of this void because they want to return to the light of your love and to this relationship because they see things now so much clearer than they ever have before and they want to hold on to you and to this love and start rebuilding your relationship day by day brick by brick moment by moment together so that it can become the partnership that it has always been destined to become for the two of you this is your reading for today everyone Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you. Have a great day, everyone.